Hey everybody, this is Grigory Pikarski with Vesta Preferred and I am giving you my Q4 report, but it's more so about, in my opinion, where the numbers are pointing in the city and the suburbs of where to buy single family homes, condos, and also multi-units. The way that we got these numbers is every quarter, the Chicago Association of Realtors, they post and put out numbers on all of the different neighborhoods in the city and all of the different suburbs that come out and they rank them all on these different factors. And what we look at when I'm looking at predictive analytics on where to buy a Q1 is by looking at increasing average sales price from Q3 to Q4. So what areas have shown the most dramatic increase in average sales prices, which then should predict where Q1 is going to be. And then the second factor, which is decreasing market time from Q3 to Q4, meaning units and homes that have gotten absorbed quicker than everywhere else in the city and the suburbs. These are two factors that can show you by predictive analytics where if you're looking for an opportunity buy in the three categories that we report on for Q1. And I love doing this. People find a lot of value in this and I enjoy giving you this information. So let's jump right into it. All right, let's get right into it. We're going to be starting off with single family homes in the city. So what are the top three areas in Q4 that increased the most in average sales prices from Q3 to Q4. Starting off with the lower west side, the average sales price for a single family home there was $678,000. Number two was Uptown at 1,424,000. And number three, the highest increase in average sales price in the city for single family homes was Riverdale at an average of $88,000. So there's a lot of good buys out there and you don't have to spend millions of dollars in the city to find awesome value. Now for decreasing market time, which areas have had the quickest absorption rate for single family homes in the city? Number one was Riverdale, selling 88% faster in Q4 than they did in Q3. Number two was Rogers Park, selling at 85% faster from uh, Q4 from Q3. And Lower West, selling at 82% faster in Q4 than they did in Q3. All right, getting into condos, those attached homes in the city, where were the top three highest average sales prices from Q3 to Q4? Well, number one was Rogers Park at 223,000 as an average condo price. Number two was Uptown at 341,000. And number three was Westtown at $556,000. For the quickest absorption rate from Q3 to Q4, number one for condos was New City at 95% faster absorption rate in Q4 than they did in Q3. Portage Park coming in at number two at 92% quicker absorption. And number three, Montclair coming in hot at 91% quicker absorption rate from Q4 from Q3. Montclair is a place that I keep mentioning time and time again. Montclair, I see you, I feel you. And that right there might be a fantastic location for you to be looking into because it keeps coming up. Now, we're gonna get into multi-units in the city for the quickest absorption rate for multi-units from Q3 to Q4. Number one was Archer Heights, 84% faster from Q3 to Q4. Number two was Forest Glen at 83% faster absorption rate. And number three was North Center at 78% quicker absorption rate. For the highest increase in average sales price in Q4, Coming from Q3 to Q4. Number one for multi units was West Lawn. Average price is 505,000. Number two is Forest Glen, coming in at 585,000. And number three was Hyde Park at 882,000 on average for a multi unit. Now, if you noticed, I mentioned Forest Glen twice. That could be a fantastic pick if you're looking to buy a multi unit in Q1 here in the city. Let's go to the beautiful Chicagoland. We're gonna be looking at all of the suburbs when we're looking at average sales prices, the quickest increases in average sale prices from Q3 to Q4, and also the quickest decreases when it comes to market absorption from Q3 to Q4. So starting with single family homes in the suburbs, number one is Dixmore, and the average sales price for a single family home was 370,000. Number two was Hillside at an average of 823,000. And number three is Steger. I hope I'm saying that right. Steger, 539,000. 
yeah, truth be told, I've never been to Stagger, but great, great work, Stagger. And now for decreasing market time for single family homes in the suburbs. Number one, Bellwood at 98% quicker absorption rate. Number two is Sulk Village at 88% quicker absorption rate. Salt Village, it's kind of like a nice sound to it, Salt Village. And number three for quickest and for decreasing market time from Q3 to Q4 was Deerfield at 85% quicker absorption rate. So those are your single family opportunity picks for Q1 if you're looking to find a good opportunity place to buy a single family home in the suburbs. Number two, we're gonna be talking now about condos in the suburbs. Let's go for the highest and quickest uh, average sales price growth from Q3 to Q4. Number one was Riverdale at an average price of 162,000. Number two was Lansing at 463,000. And number three was Glenwood at an average sales price of 433,000. And now for the quickest decrease in market time, quickest absorption rate for condos in the suburbs, number one, University Park, number one, 95% quickest absorption rate uh, in Q4 from Q3. Number two is Genoa at 93%. Genoa, God, I've never been to Genoa. This is Genoa. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I've never been to Genoa, but I'm gonna pronounce it right, Genoa. Genoa came in at 93% quicker absorption rate for condos, and number three was worth at 86% quicker absorption rate from Q3 to Q4. So if you're looking to buy condos in the suburbs, those are some really good opportunity places, in my opinion, coming up in Q1. So go check out that Genoa. Now, coming in at multi-units for the suburbs. For the quickest increase in average sales price, we have number one at Marengo at 263,000 on average. Great price for multi-unit. Number two is LaGrange at 847,000. Wow, did LaGrange have a huge increase in their pricing over the last few years. And number three, I hope I, I Bourbon Ace. Bourbon Ace. Coming in at 475,000. Um, so those are your three picks for Q1 if you're looking to multi-unit um, when you're looking at average sales prices. Let's go to decreasing market time, quickest absorption rate. Number one, I've already had my practice, Genoa, coming in at 73% quicker absorption rate from uh, Q3 to Q4, so great opportunity for Q1. Number two was Melrose Park at 72% quicker absorption rate, and number three was Calumet City at 64% quicker absorption rate from Q3 to Q4 for multi-units in the suburbs. So these are all fantastic locations to be thinking about if you're looking to buy a multi-unit and you want to find value. That was a lot of fun, but I only mentioned a few areas, the top three in the city and or the suburbs. If you are interested to know how your neighborhood has been performing, I have the full list. It's a free resource for you. All you have to do is comment Q4 and I will get that to you right away. Like, subscribe, please share this. I would love to stay in touch and keep providing value to you so you can become a better home buyer and seller.